Hi, welcome to Matt Holman Golf. I thought I'd just take a quick look at Tiger's swing from two or three weeks ago to maybe last year. Um, I'm not going to go into too much depth, but just some of the obvious differences. And I think there were definitely some changes he's made. I was out there whenever it was last month or so. He definitely was slimmer than I've seen him for a while. You know, he's not as bulky as he was. Um, I think the swing looked to me quite different. I think the real obvious was in terms of the setup. The spine is definitely, if you look on the left hand side there, he's taller with the shaft angle at address, i.e. this angle here is more upright relative to on the right hand side the shaft angle was lower, the hands were pressed down more and then the spine angle due to that was lower, so through this angle here. So definitely looked more back to what I've seen him do previously. And then the big difference is really through the start of his swing for me, where it really stands out. So if you look at Tiger very early in his career, his arms would actually move sort of away from his body in the backswing. So they'd sort of cross this line here. Adam Scott did the same thing. Um, if you look at Adam Scott now, he looks very much like Tiger on the left. And I feel when he went to Sean Foley, he just started to exaggerate that movement too much. I know in some of the teachings I've done with Pete Cowan, his assistant Mike Walker, they never really like to see which you're going to see on the right hand side here where the left arm, left hand moves in too much. The problem is they would say with that the right shoulder tends to drive upwards then from there we're going to drop underneath it on the downswing which was pretty much exactly the issue Tiger's been struggling with and then having to overly lean the shaft. Now you know, in some higher handicappers, I would definitely teach this to players. You know, guys that really steepen the shaft in the downswing. I'd really want to look where, if we said Ricky Fowler's move from a year or two ago, where the handle, hands stay very much in, the club's very much out, a slightly higher right side in the body and setting more upright. And that will really then allow, as the club moves up in the downswing with a high right shoulder, everything's going to fall from the inside in the downswing. Now, in the average amateur, that's really what we're looking for because they tend to sort of get over the top and slice the ball. In the better players, especially dynamic swings, these players tend to get two underneath. And then you've, you know, tiger blocks, hooks, which really most better players struggle with. So we're trying to build a swing that makes that um, as unlikely to occur. And there's obviously different theories on, on this. The work Sean Foley's done with Justin Rose to move this method, I think Hunter Mahan as well, it's no question it's worked and their results have improved due to that. I think in Tiger's case it, it, it didn't really, and I really am liking what he's sort of gone back to here. So if we start on this right-hand side, to me just the hands were moving too in, club's very much on plane, but club's a little bit too much outside of his hand relative to the line of the arms. And now his shoulder plane gets relatively steep. And I heard Sean Foley talking that this was a positive and that helped get the club more in front coming down. And it, that never really made sense to me. You know, from the learning that I've done, if that shoulder plane gets too steep going up, handle drags in too much we're going to tend to get two underneath coming down and that and that's sort of what we saw with Tiger here so in a decent looking position but we look relative to now on the right hand side what you're going to see he's going to retain his height a lot more shoulders are going to work much more perpendicular or more level to the ground so if, and you can see if we just pull this back a little bit so relative to our at the same frame, vertical line there, you can see how the hands are much closer to our vertical. So the arms are staying more in front of the body. They're not dragging inside as much. Now you're going to see the arms work much more through the centre of his chest, where on the right-hand side, everything's just going to end up more behind him. So like I say, in, you look at Tiger's swing in the early days at that point, his left hand, their glove hand, would be out sort of here somewhere. And I think 
you know, maybe he wanted to move away from that look, and to me, just went exaggerated that move too much. So at the top, you know, it's certainly not a, a terrible position, but you can see now whether the arms have driven in too much. You know, the, the shoulders have tilted, especially through this phase, see quite a difference. You can now see the upper body really starting to move down too much too soon. And I think you're going to see him really working to retain his height much more. So you can see through this phase also how much wider the move is. We haven't got it from face on here. So he's widened the move. He's got his arms <clears throat> more in front of his body. And he's at the same place there. Look at the difference in club shaft width. So now the arms are going to continue on more. There's less bending through this part of the body. The shoulders are staying more level. He's keeping his height more. Now he starts to drive downwards as the club starts to move back down and compress. But here he's already moved down so much before he's reached the top. That's why the swing started to get so short. You know, and everything's moved just down too much here. Now you've got really nowhere to go. He's stuck from the inside and now you know, really pops up. The shoulders are really tilting. Look how much the forearms are stuck to the right-hand side there. And to me, you're always then going to have a tendency of hitting pushes and hooks. And that's what you're seeing him, you know, try and hit this fade a lot more. So the club's are a lot more in front of him here. He's still down. He's still got his tendencies. I think you'll start to see him get more level through the ball, i.e. less movement down. You can see relative to uh, that striking frame, there's a lot less daylight in the forearms. You know, the forearms are looking more left there. Now, having said that, he is aiming a little bit more right on the right-hand side, so you've got to take that into account. But it's a level, a more level, less underneath movement there to impact. And now he's got a free release where he can just let everything keep moving all the way through. He's not having to hold anything off. So, you know, I really like the the changes Tigers made here. I think, you know, going forward, you'll see a slightly fuller swing as the, as the months go on. You're going to see him keeping height better to the top, less movement down, um, and the body turning level and, and left more. Um, but, you know... He certainly made some big changes quite quickly, like he's done, you know, all the way through his career. It will be interesting to see how he plays this season.